everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be talking with you about products from the American artisan perfume brand that is called 1692. And I learned about this brand because I was at Art and Olfaction Award and one of the prizes from this brand uh, won in the artisan category. So this brand has a lot of perfumes but they have also hair, uh, hair care products and also products for your body. And I ordered something from each category and in this video I want to share share my opinion about all of these products that I have in front of me, so if you're interested, then please keep on watching. First of all, guys, I want to show you what I have in here, and then we'll talk about each product in detail. First of all, of course, I should to order these amazing uh, oils for your hair. They are called Supernatural Hair Serum, and that is awesome, because these are kind of oils with perfumes in them. So they are scented with actual perfume that this brand has in its original catalog. I think that is the most awesome thing ever because for people like me with really dry hair, this is just a must-have. So I ordered them in two different scents and I will talk about them a little bit later. Then I also ordered another hair care product uh, that is a detangling hair mist and it is also scented with one of the fragrances that this brand has. And the last uh, product for my body is this gorgeous body and hand um, lotion, hand and body lotion. So um, I also ordered perfumes. And the thing is, they have their original catalog, but they have also limited collections. So they had a spring limited collection and a summer limited collection. And of course, I ordered limited stuff. So guys, sorry for that. If you are interested in some of the perfumes that I will be talking about today, definitely go on their website. I will leave a link to that in my description box down below and order them, because uh, when they are gone, they will be gone forever. That's been said, let's jump into this review and talk about it product in detail. And I want to start with these hair serums. Now the thing is, I ordered uh, one of them in the, um, I don't know, in the scent Bruce Violet. Here is the name of it. And I did that because this is the scent that won in Art and Olfaction Award. And I actually smelled it before ordering and um, I remember I was like a little bit confused at the ceremony of you know, like a word, because it smelled so retro. I'm the hugest fan of irisy perfumes, of powdery scents. And this is a very, very powdery perfume, but it is so retro, it is so old-fashioned, so I was so confused because, you know, nowadays people uh, try to come uh, out with something modern, with something new, and this is something great, but it is so old-fashioned. So I knew that I don't need that in the perfume, but in the hair oil that will be awesome and my mom loves also powdery scents so I ordered it for my mom and the other one for me. Now let's see which notes we have in the perfume and of course in the oil. Uh, they are red lipstick accord, dusting powder, white iris, violet leaf, damascus and bulgarian rose and red uh, grapefruit um, zest. Well I don't get a lot of roses in here. The only thing I get in the opening when you first smell the perfume are, you know, is that all the lipstick scent, which is great, which is really vintage, and it is something cool. So if you like the scent of lipstick, this is something that you need in your life. You can order a perfume, you can order a detangling mist, or you can order this beautiful oil in that scent, and it is awesome. And then when that really intense scent of a lipstick goes away, it gets floral and really, really pleasant and wearable. So a great thing. And the next um, oil that I got for myself is called Baba Yaga. And it has gorgeous notes in it. I will read them um, for you. So we have Dragon's Blood Incense, Sweet Wood Smoke, Dried Herbs, Dripping Candle Wax and Forest Dirt. And yes, it smells kind of dirty, but it is so cool. It smells very herbal. It smells like a forest, you know? It smells like a witch that lives in a forest and, you know, she has all those really 
unique and very rare herbs and it is just an awesome scent. I like to apply it when my hair is wet and uh, fresh uh, and I just apply it all over and it just leaves my hair uh, soft and shiny and I adore this scent. It is very beautiful. It is kind of a little bit strong, um, the scent is a little bit strong in the opening, first when you smell it, but then it just, it settles down and the dry down is really, really pleasant. So now we are moving on to the last product for the hair and that is the detangling hair mist. Uh, and it is um, pretty great. So my hair is very knotty when I wash it and I like to apply it all over my hair and then it just helps to detangle it and it is in the um, kind of scent tomato leaf and honeysuckle and I want uh, to read you the notes that it features. So we have green grass, sweet tomato leaf and warm honeysuckle vine. And yes, it is very fresh. It is just slightly floral and it is very refreshing. Uh, the scent doesn't uh, stay on the hair as uh, long as uh, the oils, but that's nice. It's just a nice scent for a um, hair care product. So guys, that's basically all for the hair. Now just a few words um, about this hand and body lotion. It has also that honey, suckle and tomato leaf scent because I was really curious about that because tomato leaf, wow, you know, it's like wow. And it is amazing. So the scent itself here is stronger than in the detangling mist. It is very green and it has something metallic in it, which is okay, you know, it's not like wow, my favorite scent, but it's nice. And I want to talk to you about the texture. The texture is awesome, guys, it's the best or one of the best hand creams that I have ever tried in my life and I ordered it in the small jar because I just wanted to try it out and to play with it and I know that I need maybe another scent but in a huger jar because it is amazing. It sinks right into your skin and doesn't leave that um, you know like a nasty oily residue. It's just an awesome awesome product. So let's move on to the perfumes now because I think it was enough talking about other stuff. And the first perfume that I want to talk to you about is called like this, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly, and it is from their Spring uh, Limited collection. Now guys, I was obsessed with this scent, okay? I was really like, oh wow, the notes are so cool, I want to smell it. And uh, lucky enough, they had it. And the notes are, okay, just listen, they are gorgeous. Gardenia, pe Gardenia petal, lavender, oak moss, soft suede, and also chill champagne. Isn't that great? Yes, it is. But the scent is so masculine and that is my problem. I cannot wear it and I am very loyal with perfumes, you know. If some unisex scent goes towards a uh, feminine, side or masculine side, I'm like, okay, that will work also for a man or a woman. This one, I cannot wear it. That is so strange for me. And I don't know what the thing is. I applied it only uh, once and it was it was projecting like crazy, you know. I, I, I smelled it all day long and it was not that pleasant. It has something medical in it, you know, like a medicine. It smells like some, I don't know, herbal, strange poison. I don't, for a man it will be nice. It is kind of a sharp scent. It is for a strong man who wants to be right and who has a strong opinion and who is like, you know, like this. That is <laughs> the scent for him because I guess that that suede makes the scent just animalic almost. So that's been said. We are moving on to the perfume that I get as a Thank you. So I didn't order it, but uh, they sent me this perfume. And now I want to tell you something about all the other fragrances. They are on the oily base and um, the, the texture is really oily. And that doesn't bother me that much because the perfume sinks into your skin pretty quickly and doesn't leave, you know, unpleasant residue. And they all are very gourmand scents. And I'm not into gourmand perfumes unless they are done really, uh, you know, like perfect. They, when gourmand scents are perfection, then I love them. But just to say that gourmand perfumes are my favorites, I cannot do that. And this perfume is very sweet. It is a very, very um, gourmand. And it is called Merci 
Lewis. So I will also leave the name here so you know how it's called. And first of all, let's see which notes we have in here. We have Halotrop, Honey Tea, Rose Hips, Sugared Almond, Creamy Sandalwood and Milky Vanilla. And this scent smells like baking vanilla cookies. And you know what? I love that. That is so crazy. It is so sweet. It is so vanilla. It is so almondy. But I love that, especially when it is a little bit colder outside, it is awesome, especially if you like sweet gourmandy fragrances. It is amazing. I'm wearing it today and you know it is oil, I can apply it a little bit on my hair and it is raining right now, so it's, it's really appropriate. So this scent I like very much. Funny enough, I didn't order it and I like it and all the fragrances that I ordered, I don't like that much. So let's move on to the summer collection really quickly and um, well the thing is why I am a little bit disappointed with them, they are very very gourmand. So I will talk about uh, the perfume that I like the most uh, first. It's called like this and um, it features uh, the note of Iso E Super, which is a very strange note and a lot of people have problems with that note, so I was really curious about this perfume and I like it really much, uh, really very much. It smells um, fresh, it smells a little bit woody, it smells a little bit almost um, mossy and it has almost slightly um, animalic touch to it, which is nice. So we have notes of Blood Orange, Black Iris, Metallic Accord, Vetiver Sun, Warm Musk, and Iso E Super. This is a nice scent. It is my favorite from the whole collection. And it is uh, very appropriate for a hot summer day, but also for a, co um, you know, like a cooling when it is raining. I don't know what I'm talking about. This is a gorgeous scent. If you want to order one scent from their summer collection that you are not into really sweet and fruity perfumes, then order this one. Well, let's move on to the next one that is called like this. And um, we have the notes in it, which are black thick, black and red tea leaves, ginger root, coconut milk and papyrus. And now I hate coconut in the perfumes. I have never smelled almost never smelled a perfume with coconut in it that will smell amazing and this is very very sweet. I smell coconut in it, I smell vanilla in it, something very sweet and overwhelming and I'm very sorry, I'm very loyal with perfumes but this is something not for me but I'm sure there are people who will really enjoy them. So actually when I smelled all of them I thought about um, Lola from Lola Scent. So Lola, if you are uh, watching this video, I thought of you immediately when I was smelling these perfumes. And you know, we don't know each other, but you just mentioned once that you like gourmand scents. And I was like, hmm, I need to tell you that these perfumes um, are pretty good gourmand scents. So anyways, let's move on to the next perfume that is called like this. And this scent is pretty nice. It has notes of sweet wood, golden amber, wild tuberose, nectarine blossom and lychee gem. Now, I don't like tuberose, it has tuberose in it, it is noticeable, it is nice, it is very fruity, it is very delicious and it's a nice fruity perfume, which I appreciate, which I like and I can actually wear. Perfect for summer, especially if you are into fruity, yummy perfumes. The next perfume that we'll talk about is called like this and this one I also don't mind, it's actually nice. We have applewood and blossom, sweet cherry, magnolia flower, clara honey and um, hedion, I don't know what that is. So this perfume is also very sweet but it has also something ambery and almost woody in it but also on the sweet side. I just I just don't like that all the fragrances are so sweet, you know? The next purchase I will make from this brand that will be from the original catalog and, uh, you know, not from the limited edition because that is kind of a little bit... Mm. So, the next perfume that we will talk about is the one that I don't like and I don't want to smell it. That is because of the coconut in it. We have Surf and Chiroline. 
I'm sorry, driftwood, dried coconut shell, pistachio, pistachio, sweet sea grasses and salt. I don't smell salt, it's not salty, it is very coconutty, it is very waxy, it is very sweet, it is very overwhelming, but I uh, think people will like it, especially those of you who like really creamy, really coconutty scents. And um, yeah, but that is not the case for me. And guys, that is all for this review. I hope that it is okay and that I was not that negative. I like some of the perfumes and I definitely like all the hair care products and this amazing hand and body lotion. And the next time I will purchase fragrances from this brand and also other products, I will definitely film another review because I actually like the products, but um, you know, it is... A pity that a lot of fragrances were so gourmand that are not, you know, like something that I might uh, wear, but you know, they are on the oily base, so I will try to wear them um, on the hair and to see how it works. And I hope that you enjoyed watching this uh, review and you found it helpful, and if you did, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, because I post frequently two or three videos a week, so you will always get something interesting to watch, and I will be really happy if you subscribe and support my channel. So, have kisses! from Germany and we'll see each other in my next video really, really soon. Bye!